Hey guys, so this is Tiffany. Um, so I haven't posted on my YouTube channel in a very long time, so this will be the first of a series that I'm going to do. So I'll be posting every single week of different combinations of foods. So today we're gonna do instant noodles. So I tried to buy like some different types of instant noodles. So this one here is a, um, a like escargot kind of thing. So river snails, rice noodles, noodles. So here we go, I, I picked them based off of packaging, the flavor, and like how interesting it looked. And then this one here is like a pho noodle. So it's a spicy beef pho noodle. And then this one here is the bowl noodle soup lobster flavor instant noodle. And then this one here if for my Asian friends is a tomato and egg instant noodle. So I thought this one was really unique. And then this one here is a udon. So not quite an instant noodle, but this is a fresh seafood udon and it looked really delicious in this picture here. It looks really good. So we're gonna try that. And then last but not least is our stir fried kimchi ramen. So this one looks spicy, but yummy. So this one doesn't have soup in it, but it looks really good. So I'm excited to try all of these. Okay, so before we dig into making this one, there's a few I wanted to show you, such as this one, where instead of like a normal instant noodle, it comes with all these things inside. So when you open up the instant noodle package, this is the udon. It comes with a whole package of udon right here, which is so cute. And then it has its soup powder, like normal. And then inside here, it's like light, like it's like freeze dried. I'm not quite sure what it is. We'll find out when we eat it. But I think it's some sort of like air dried like tempura thing, which is so cool. And then another little seasoning packet. Okay, and then next in this one is the Li Zhao River Snails Rice Noodle one. So when you open this one up, this, it comes with the rice noodles packaged like this. It's so cute. And then it has its like, I think these seafood chips and some peanuts and some good stuff. It looks really yummy. And then here it has the snails. It looks kind of gross, but I think it's going to taste really good. But these are the snails. <laughs> and then some sauce in here. And then some more sauce in here. And then the cutest thing, this one comes with a foldable fork. <laughs> this one is the pho, the pho, the beef, spicy beef noodle one. So you open the lid, it comes with these. I'm not sure what these are, like <laughs> green onion, garlic, I don't know. Someone tell me what these are. Um, seasoning, this is like the spicy beef seasoning. The normal instant noodle like seasoning that comes in like every single instant noodle pack, more seasoning. And then this one here, got the pho noodles. Looks uh, very round, very nice, very pleasant. Okay. And then another another fork, a foldable fork. I'm gonna keep all of these. This one, so the first one was yellow, and this one is clear. Okay, so um, excuse my animals fighting. Uh, this is talking, interesting. But they're not actually fighting, they're just playing. They love each other. Anyway, this one is tomato with egg. Uh, let me open this one. So we got the noodles. I'm not sure what type of noodle this one. This one is really thin. Interesting. And then this is all freeze dried. So I think this is what the tomato and egg is. It's all freeze dried. So that should be interesting. Oh, and another fork. It's also yellow. Yay. So before we put the water in all of these, I wanted to show you guys the inside of everything once we unpackaged everything. Some of them look really nasty and really gross, but I'm sure it'll taste okay. And also, I want to thank TNT. Nobody sponsored me or anything, but I would like TNT to sponsor me. But I'm going to have this uh, honey yuja cha, like in between every single instant noodle, just to cleanse my palate. Also, because it's really tasty. So I'm going to have this on the side and put it in hot water. Okay. So, let's start with this one. So, this one is the snail one. So, after we put everything inside, this is what it looks like. Kind of nasty. I was really bad with the ocean, <laughs> not gonna lie. And then we have the tomato and egg one, the one that was freeze dried. Also, this looks kind of gross. Um, smells like ketchup and cardboard. Interesting, interesting, okay. So the seafood udon, um, <laughs> so the udon, and the spicy, and then see this little brick here? That's the fresh seafood of the fresh seafood noodle bowl. Um, yeah, it smells 
okay. Uh, I'm kind of concerned about that cube. And then over here, this one, this one smells pretty good. Kind of excited about this one. Doesn't look too bad. And then we have our lobster one, which just looks like our dollar store, like instant noodle. Um, I bought this one to compare to like all the little bit more fancier ones. And then this one, we haven't put the sauce packet in yet because this is the uh, stir fried one. So we have to put the water, drain the water and then put this in. So now we're gonna put the water in all of these. Yay. Okay, I will be right back. I'm really nervous because we just um, put all the soups in, as you can see. Um, and all the smells are very overwhelming to one another. So I feel a little bit sick slash nauseous from all the smells. So I'm just having a bit of my uh, fusion. I'm going to start with this kimchi stir fry one. It looks like it smells good. I like spicy. So let's see. Wait, how do you get four out of? Mmm. This one is really good. The texture of the noodles are really, really nice. Um, the sauce is really good. It fully coats the noodles and everything. And it goes like inside the noodles. I think it absorbs it a bit. It's really good. Quite spicy. I'd rate it like um almost spiciness scale, maybe like um four or five out of ten, like a four. It's really really good. Good flavor. There's some like kimchi bits in here. It's pretty good. Um, so far I really like this one. I can't have. I don't have anything else to compare it to, but I could eat this whole bowl. Like I like this one. It's really good. And it comes my palette. We'll move on to the next one. I am going to do this one last because I am dreading doing this one. Next, I'm going to do this one. So this one is our cheapest instant noodle. I'm just gonna wipe. Get that kimchi off of it. Okay, so this one's our cheapest instant noodle. It's just the cup noodle. This is the lobster one. So there's some pieces in here. Looks like the normal instant noodle, cheap instant noodle. Like, just the good old, not healthy stuff. I don't think any of these are healthy, to be honest, but. Smells good. Smells like shrimp crackers. I like the Chinese lobster crackers. good noodles are very thin so like not a good quality instant noodle but it's good like it's a college instant noodle tastes good salty quite artificial flavor it still tastes good but it's like a snack uh, everything tastes quite fake if i'm being honest but it tastes really good like a good fake if you know what i mean Not spicy, it's good. Um, the broth. The broth is kind of bland, to be honest. I would rate this one like a. If the other one was like a. If I would rate the other one like a 8 out of 10, this one would be like a 3 out of 10. Next, I'm going to do this one. This one kind of looks like. This is the spicy beef one. It looks very spicy. Oh my gosh, so red. Wow, look at the noodles. It's like interesting. Okay. It smells spicy. I'm excited to try these noodles. They're like those like crystal potato noodles. It's very good. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. It's definitely like those pho noodles. It's kind of like an in-between of pho noodles and like those potato noodles. Spicy, but like a good spice. Um, 
spice level, like a three, four out of 10, not too spicy. Compared to the other ones, I give the kimchi one like a eight out of 10, and then the lobster one like a three out of 10, I think. So this one would be like a seven. And it's definitely different from the kimchi one, but it's up there. I would give it a seven out of 10, I like this one. I think here's a beef piece. I'll try this beef piece. See that little beef piece? I don't like it. Either. So those pieces are not that great, but the noodle is great and the broth is great. Let me try just the broth. Very flavorful broth, quite spicy. Kind of like meaty, which is good. Next. Let me wow. cleanse my palate. One more, one more. We have three more to go. Yes. Again, doing this one last. You have to, you have to play. I kind of want to save this one for last because this one is yeah. promising, but I'm just going to eat it now because I'm excited for it. This is the udon. It smells really, 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 really good. So like, if you could smell this right now, it smells like I just went to a sushi restaurant or like some Japanese restaurant and just ordered seafood udon. That's exactly what it smells like. It smells so good. Okay. Mm. Udon noodles are very good, very soft. Not too chewy, which I like. I find in a lot of places that sell udon, their noodles are too chewy, but I like this one. For a like $4 instant noodle, this is a very good deal. Have some seaweed pieces in here. Yummy. Um, I think I found a little shrimpy in here. I can find them. Anywho, there are shrimp pieces in here. I can't grab one. But let me have some more udon. This one's really, really good. I think this one's my favorite. I really like this one. I will be finishing this one later. And bro. Mm, very good. It's like very well seasoned, very well balanced. Mm. It tastes like, I'm not gonna say MSG, but it tastes like when you go to a restaurant and you get udon and they all taste like udon, that's what it tastes like. And then it also tastes like seafood, which is good. So we have to switch the camera because my phone ran out of storage. So I'll be emptying that on a hard drive tonight. But we, sorry for the lower quality, we switched to a different phone. Um, so we were at the udon. This one is really good. Um, the broth is really delicious and the noodles are really good. Overall, I'd give this one like a nine out of 10, even a 9.5 out of 10. I really, really like this one. I'll be eating all of this This one is really, really good. Two more to go. So this one is the egg and tomato one. So it looks pretty good after it like went with water. So there's some egg pieces in here and tomato. Pretty good. Uh, let me cleanse my palate. Okay, I'm gonna use the fork. Let me just try an egg piece. So here's an egg piece. I'm gonna freeze right there. So it has the texture of egg, but it doesn't taste <laughs> like egg. I don't know what it tastes like, but it doesn't taste like egg. That's the texture of an egg. Uh, this is a tomato piece. That tastes like a real tomato. Mmm, the tomato is good. It tastes like tomato. I mean, I think this is like some sort of squash. Let me try that. Mmm, I think it's like zucchini. That's really good too. A plus on the freeze drying on this one. Okay, so these are the noodles they gave me. These are the really thin ones. Yeah. Sorry, that's my cat. Mmm, mmm. I'm not a big fan of these noodles. They're very thin. Mm. There's not much flavor to them. They didn't really absorb much flavor. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these noodles, but I really like the stuff in it. Let me try the broth. Mm. 
Hmm, I really like this broth. The broth is really good. For some reason, the noodles didn't really absorb the flavor from the broth. Um, so it's just the broth alone, I'd give it like a six out of 10. Um, the noodles, like a one out of 10. Overall, like a five out of 10, like pretty good, but I just don't like the noodles. And the last one. So I was dreading this one. This is what it looks like. Uh, I have no words until I try this. Um, these are the noodles, these are different noodles, so hopefully I like these ones. The broth, it smells terrible. <laughs> the broth smells really, really bad. Um, I'm not sure what these are. I think it's like tofu or something. Let me try this. Yeah, that's tofu. I don't like tofu. Um, there's some peanuts in here. Peanuts, good. Mm. Where's that snail? I gotta eat that snail on camera for you guys. Um, let's find the snail. somewhere um i guess it sunk to the bottom where did it go i can't find the snail let's see i'm digging i can't find it. there were like a few snails in here i cannot find the snails did we put the snails in i cannot find the snails Hold on, let me use my chopstick. Try to scoop this. Uh, so there's a big pile of noodles. Hold on, we need to get a bowl to find the snail. We'll be right back. Okay, so the pieces of snail like kind of broke up in the soup. So this is the biggest piece I could find of the snail. It's chewy. and I do not like it. <laughs> it's very chewy, it's not like escargot. I don't like it at all. I'm just gonna go through this and taste the noodles and the broth and let you know I don't like it. Actually, the broth is not bad. So smelling it smells disgusting, but if I hold my breath and I'm drinking the broth, now that I'm tasting it, it's actually quite nice. It's like a salty, kind of like a Chinese soup kind of like taste. It's very good. Um, broth, like six out of 10. Everything else, like one out of 10. Let me try these noodles that I separated to try to find the. Mm. This is like sort of like vermicelli noodles. Mm. Okay, I give the noodles like a four out of 10. All right. Mm. Mm. Not my favorite one. Okay, I'm now gonna rate these, so let me just take this. Okay, so I'm gonna rate them. This is definitely at the bottom, sorry. And I would do just, I think it's just personal preference. Like if somebody really likes river snail or rice noodles, you might like this. But for me personally, this is gonna be at the bottom of the list. And then it's gonna be the lobster one. Um, followed by the egg. Actually, I kind of personally, I kind of like the lobster one more than this one in a way, just personally. But they're kind of like tied for me, but I will put this. Okay, uh, these ones are back here. And then top three are definitely, so top three are the kimchi, the udon, and the spicy beef. So I really like all three of these. Um, they're all within the eight, nine, 10 range. Um, this one's really good. I will place this one in third place. And then the top two are the kimchi stir fry and the seafood udon. So I think both of them are really, really good, but I think I have to put the seafood udon above just because the seafood udon tastes so real. Like it's unbelievable how real it tastes. Like it, just like you got it from a restaurant. 
This one wins, and this is my favorite, and I'm gonna eat this whole bowl. And in case you're wondering, none of this will go to waste because that man over there is going to eat all of these. Yay! Okay, so next week, I'm going to do a Asian drinks test. So if you want to comment, if there are any of you out there, comment some Asian drinks I should buy from TNT. Okay, thank you, bye.